Welcome back to T.Tech 7, your daily source for the latest in AI and tech business news. Today, we're spotlighting a major leap in aerospace innovation. Bombardier's brand new Global 8000 has officially taken to the skies. This ultra-long-range jet is setting new records in speed, range, and passenger experience, and it's making waves across the high-tech business travel world. Let's dive into what makes it so special and how it stacks up against competitors like Gulfstream, Dassault, and Boeing. Ultra-long-range bezjets aren't just toys for billionaires, they're tools for global connectivity. Cutting even 30 minutes off a transatlantic flight can save executives hundreds of thousands in labor and opportunity costs. Today's contenders compete on three fronts, speed, range, and passenger well-being. Bombardier's Global 8000 just completed its maiden flight on May 16, 2025, flying out of Toronto with GE Passport engines pushing it to Mach 0.94, the fastest sustained cruise of any Bezjet today. Its range? A staggering 8,000 nautical miles, enough to go NYC Singapore or Sydney Dubai non-stop. Cabin altitude stays at just 2,900 feet at cruising altitude, helping you step off fresh and ready to work. Let's compare. Gulfstream G800 tops out at Mach 0.935 with 8,200 nautical miles range. Slightly longer reach, but a hair slower. Falcon 10X cruises Mach 0.925 for 7,500 nautical miles, great but not record-setting. BBJ 787 Dreamliner blows past 9,900 nautical miles, but at Mach 0.85 and a cabin altitude of 6,000 feet. Bombardier's actually pushed a test global 7,500 past Mach 1 in a dive, proof that the 8,000's wing and engines can handle serious speed. Speed matters, but comfort seals the deal. The Global 8000 has four true living suites, work, dining, lounge, and sleep zones, plus a crew rest pod, all at 2,900 feet cabin altitude. Bombardier's Nuage seats feature memory foam, massage and heated-slash-ventilated surfaces, and 4K EFA screens. Gulfstream's G800 is nearly identical, four zones seating up to 19 and a 2,840 feet cabin, the lowest in the industry. It pioneered panoramic oval windows and dream suite seating. Dassault's Falcon 10X goes big, 2,780 cubic feet of cabin, 8 inches wider than rivals, can include a queen-size bedroom and bar. BBJ 787? It's a wide-body liner reborn, cinema rooms, showers, full-size conference tables, but you'll pay for a cabin altitude of 6,000 feet. Under the skin, these jets are tech marvels. Global 8000, Bombardier's smooth flex wing adapts to turbulence and lowers stall speed for shorter runways. Fly-by-wire vision deck with side sticks, fighter jet style controls. Gulfstream, symmetry flight deck with active side sticks, 10 touchscreens, HUD, predictive landing, and Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines with 18% better fuel burn than its predecessor. Dassault 10X, fighter-derived fly-by-wire protections, ultra-quiet cabin from Falcon 8X Tech, massive 50% bigger windows, and 100% fresh air filtration systems. BBJ 787, composite fuselage, Gen X or Trent 1000 commercial engines, smooth ride turbulence suppression, circadian lighting, and RE Dead data link connectivity. Of course, innovation costs. List prices. Global 8000, $78 million. Gulfstream G800, $71.5 million. Falcon 10X, $75 million. BBJ 787, $200 plus million custom. The value equation comes down to mission. The Global 8000 saves time. Its higher cruise speed shaves 30 to 60 minutes off transatlantic runs, worth tens of thousands per flight. The G800 offers the cheapest seat mile on ultra-long legs. The 10X gives you palace-like space. The BBJ? Think Airborne Resort. Who's buying? Bombardier's locked in NetJets as its launch customer, four firm Global 8000s plus conversions from the 7500, building a 24-jet fleet. Deliveries begin late 2025. Gulfstream has a backlog of G700 orders and expects first G800 deliveries mid-2025 with hundreds on order. Dassault's 10X flight tests are on track for 2025 service entry. Its mock-up at Paris wowed VIPs, and charter operators are lining up. 
BBJ787's fly heads of state and ultra-wealthy clients, orders continue but at a slower pace due to price and infrastructure needs. Which jet fits your mission? For the CEO who flies New York Hong Kong weekly, Global 8000 or G800, minimum stops, highest crews. For the charter operator catering to ultra-rich film directors on LA Europe runs, Falcon 10X's big cabin sells experiences. For the government head of state needing supreme comfort and range, BBJ 787 or a VIP outfitted Global 8000, depending on cabin altitude priorities. As we've explored, the Bombardier's Global 8000 stands at the forefront of aviation innovation, integrating advanced automation and real-time diagnostics to redefine business jet performance. While it doesn't employ AI in its cockpit systems, Bombardier's commitment to AI-driven design and manufacturing processes signifies a broader industry shift towards intelligent engineering. For more insights into how AI and technology are transforming industries, stay tuned to T.Tech7 Daily AI and Tech News Update. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay informed and stay ahead.